Hi there. This is Michael Allen with uh, Blue York One, and I'm just here to talk about the big win over the Red Bulls and uh, the upcoming game against Minnesota this week. So uh, I wanted to say good morning to you all. Um, I'm up here in Washington Heights, trying to do a little bit from every part of the city. We'll see uh, if that works out. Um, anyway, uh, Washington Heights is out there. You want to see it? All right. So. Um, the big thing uh, that I have to say is the Red Bulls. We beat the Red Bulls in Harrison, New Jersey, which is fantastic. Um, on the road, big win against our crosstown rivals, and New York City is definitively blue. Uh, we dominated that game. We really did. And uh, because of three key points, three key players I want to talk about in that game that really, really showed up. Um, the first one would be um, Jack Harrison. Jack Harrison was dangerous from the get-go. Um, he almost had two goals. Uh, that second goal he scored was really, really pretty. Um, the first shot he had, you know, th there was a great save to stop that. Um, Robles made a great, save, a couple of great saves in the game. Uh, otherwise, it would have been uh, more lopsided than it is. Um, Jack Harrison was great, taking people on, really uh, pinpoint. Um, attacks, uh, pinpoint shots on goal, uh, really, really, really impressive as, as far as it goes. Um, and the second player that I want to talk about is Yang Herrera. Herrera was uh, amazing, and he was the X factor for me going into the thing, if anybody watched last week, uh, if anybody actually does watch. Um, yeah, Herrera was the guy that I wanted to see how he performed in a game like this and how he performed in um, big level play, and I thought he was fantastic. Uh, we really controlled the midfield. Um, Question couldn't do anything in there. Um, really, really clogged up the midfield there, and, and Herrera was dangerous on attack. Um, he almost had a goal himself, except for a great save. Um, and the way he turns, the way he moves, the way he runs, really, really, really impressed with this kid. Um, I wish we could keep him. I really, really, really do. I'm going to hate to see him go. But uh, it's going to be great when Maxi Morales gets back in there and joins the midfield as well. Um, and we can see him working with Maxi and Herrera, and I'm just very excited about that whole combination there. I think we have a, lot, a big way to go. Um, and then the last guy, and probably my man of the match, is Ben Sweat. Um, who would have thought that I would say Ben Sweat was the man of the match um, in our first win uh, away at Red Bulls? Um, but uh, Ben Sweat was great. Uh, you know, that, that uh, assist he had on the first goal was really, really uh, well thought out, really intelligent, really smart passing. Um, it's a great run that he makes to get open uh, coming out of the back. Um, and then the, the second goal, uh, I'm pretty sure that was a cross, that he was crossing it to the back post, but um, heck, he'll take it. It went in. Um, it's even better if it just goes in. So um, whether it was a shot, whether it was a cross, who knows. Um, I thought he played a great game. I thought he was good in defense as well. Um, we got a shout out. They, I mean, they really, they had one shot on goal in the 80th minute. That was their first shot on goal, and that is amazing. Um, we really, really played well on defense. Uh, everybody showed up um, in the back line. I thought RJ Allen did a good job getting forward too. Um, now, looking ahead to this week, um, we have Minnesota coming up. Um, I believe that the Gold Cup uh, camp starts this week, so um, we're going to lose Sean Johnson, we're going to lose um, Wallace, we're going to lose Matarita. Uh We'll see what happens there. Uh, Matarita, you know, it's just going to be sweat again, it's going to come in there. Um, Wallace is a bigger loss, I think. Um, we, our depth is really going to be tested this week to see how we can do this. Um, normally, Tommy Mack uh, slots in for Wallace or something like that. Um, we don't have that now. Uh, we, we're out of Maxi, we're out uh, because of an injury. We're out with Wallace, we're out with um, Matarita, we're out with Johnson. Uh, we had a lot of players coming in, a lot of people coming in um, uh, to, have, to have big shot shoes to fill. And so our depth is really going to be tested. So the key to beating Minnesota this week, this Thursday, is depth. Um, and that's what we'll, we'll see. I, at the beginning of the year, I thought we were the deepest team we've had um, by far. And so it's really going to be tested this week. Um, this Minnesota team is not the Minnesota team that lost to Atlanta United 5-0 in the first game. They're not the team that got blown out the first few weeks. They've gotten a lot better. They've got some good players. Uh, they're going to be a dangerous team. Um, the biggest test for NYCFC is, is going to see if we uh, actually do keep the streak going. We have a dangerous tendency to slack off on teams that we think we should beat, and we actually lose to those teams. And I'd like to see that uh, stop. Um, this week, and let's have a convincing win at home against uh, Minnesota United, and I will be there. I'll be in Yankee Stadium and watching the game myself, so hope to see you all there, and uh, all the best. Till next week.